Today we will learn how to construct a triangle when the length of all its three sides are given. While learning about the congruence of triangles, we saw that if the length of all three sides of a triangle is given, then we can construct a unique triangle. Today, in this video, we will learn how to construct such a triangle. Suppose we have to construct a triangle XYZ in which the length of the side XY is 2.7 cm, the length of the side YZ is 3.2 cm and the length of the side ZX is 4.3 cm. Now, let's understand its method. Step 1. First of all, we will draw a rough figure of triangle XYZ as per the measurements given. Making a rough figure helps us in the process of construction. We get to know which side is to be placed where in the triangle. Step 2. Now, with the help of a ruler, we will draw any one side of the triangle. Like here, we have drawn the side YZ with length 3.2 cm. Note that we can start with any side. Step 3. We know that the length of the side XY is 2.7 cm. This means that the vertex X is at a distance of 2.7 cm from the vertex Y. For this, we will open the compass and measure 2.7 cm on the ruler. By placing the pointed end of the compass on the vertex Y and taking vertex Y as the center, we will draw an arc of radius 2.7 cm. The distance of each point on the arc is 2.7 cm from the vertex Y. That is, one point of this arc is the vertex X of triangle XYZ. Just think, how will we find the exact position of the vertex X? Think for a while. Let's understand this in step 4. Step 4. Here, the length of the side XZ is 4.3 cm. That is, the vertex X is at a distance of 4.3 cm from the vertex Z. So, now we will open the compass and measure 4.3 cm on the ruler. Taking vertex Z as the center, we will draw another arc with radius 4.3 cm which intersects the arc drawn from the vertex Y. The obtained intersection point is vertex X of the triangle XYZ. Step 5. Now, we will join the point X with point Y and point Z and from this, we will get triangle XYZ. In this way, we have constructed triangle XYZ. Here the side XY is equal to 2.7 cm, the side YZ is equal to 3.2 cm and the side ZX is equal to 4.3 cm. Simultaneously, if we construct a triangle PQR with the same measurement in which the length of the side PQ is 2.7 cm, the length of the side QR is 3.2 cm and the length of the side RP is 4.3 cm, then we see that both the triangles overlap each other completely. That is, they have the same shape and measurements. This means that both the triangles are congruent. Under the given correspondence, if all the three sides of one triangle are respectively equal to the corresponding sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. This criterion of congruence is also known as the SSS congruency criterion. Can a unique triangle be constructed when the length of only two of its sides are known? Think for a while. Let me tell you. Suppose we have to construct a triangle ABC in which the side AB is equal to 2.9 cm and the side BC is equal to 4.3 cm. First of all, we will draw a line segment BC of length 4.3 cm. Now, 
Taking a radius of 2.9 cm and taking the point B as the center, we will draw an arc. Point A is situated somewhere on this arc, but where? Can you find its exact location? Give it a try. Point A can be situated anywhere on the arc, that is, we cannot determine its exact location. In such a case, we can construct triangle ABC as shown. That is, we do not get a unique triangle ABC. This means, we cannot construct a unique triangle using only two sides. Therefore, in order to construct a triangle, we need to know the length of all the three sides of the triangle. So, now if you know the length of all the three sides of a triangle, we can construct a unique triangle. Today we learned how to construct a triangle when the length of all its three sides are given. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples related to this.